In order to proceed with this video, you must set up the initial connection options via LAN or the site internal Wi-Fi. This is covered in a video that I will go ahead and link above. Once you are initially connected, you can change by connecting your sign to your local Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi STA mode, connecting to the sign direct by changing to a static IP. The last option for 4G we'll actually cover in a separate video. So let's go ahead and get started. To connect your sign to your local Wi-Fi, go to Screen Control, then Network Configuration, And this will pop up your network configuration window. And what we'll go ahead and do is we will scroll down where you will see Wi-Fi configuration. Go ahead and enable that. So we'll scroll down and locate the one you want to connect to, the one that your computer will be connected to. And you'll go ahead and right click and click connect to Wi-Fi and enter in the password. Alright, and once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. And once you see that it is blue and says connected, you know you'll be ready to go. At this point, what I'll recommend is doing a power cycle on your sign and restarting Biplex Express. Okay, now that I have done a power cycle on my sign and restarted Biplex Express, I can see that I am connected to my local Wi-Fi and also connected to the sign. The next option is to connect your sign direct by changing to a static IP address. So to do that, you'll want to go to Screen Control, Network Configuration, and you will uncheck Dynamic DHCP as enabled. And in here, you can enter in all your IP settings that you need to. And once you're done, click Apply. After you click apply, I would recommend doing a power cycle on the board and restarting Biplex Express as we did with the Wi-Fi. Once you've done a power cycle and restarted Biplex Express, you can always come back into network configuration and do a readback to make sure that all your settings are correct. 